Item Number, SCP-054-EN Threat Level, Orange Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures a 1 km safety perimeter must be established around all beaches where an event of SCP-054-EN has already been observed. Only members of the Foundation who have a level 3 access right are allowed to enter it through experiments. Access is prohibited for all civilians under the pretext of studying a population of marine mammals, whose name is to be defined according to the affected environments, and amnesics of Class A, for the simple observer, and of Class C, for the victims, should be administered if necessary. All photos and videos taken from SCP-054-EN must be destroyed, and a massive disinformation campaign must be launched if they have been made public. Description: SCP-054-EN is a phenomenon affecting certain waves of the west coast of the and and those of the east coast of the islands and it is characterized by the physical transformation of waves into jaws of a large white shark, capable of rolling at a rate three times higher than their usual speed if a non-aquatic animal or a human being is between SCP-054-EN and the nearest coast. The damage to individuals hit by SCP-054-EN will be that of a bite also recognized as a white shark, but the pressure exerted increases with the height of the affected wave. The injuries noted being the amputation of one or more limbs, going as far as the individual's disappearance. Damage, lethal in 68% of cases, is applied during the collapse of the wave on the victim. The likelihood of occurrence of SCP-054-EN increases considerably if the individuals previously mentioned are at an estimated distance of 250 miles from the coast whether they are swimmers, divers, or moderate-sized aquatic victims being surfers. SCP-054-EN is only visible on the part of the wave closest to its victims, and the more potential praise of SCP-054-EN will be, the more it will occupy an important face of the wave. Once visible, SCP-054-EN will deliver a high speed of acceleration to the affected wave, up to kilometer per hour. Moreover, its manifestation is silent and unpredictable. However, it has been noted that plunging under the affected wave before impact makes it possible to protect them effectively. SCP-054-EN is capable of forming on waves up to 4 meters high, but the maximum height it can reach is unknown. Addendum 054-A, a series of experiments showed that releasing several liters of blood, of animal origin, into the demonstration area of SCP-054-EN causes its formation within two minutes after the test, and that the wave crashes at the site of release of the liquid into the sea water. Another series of tests with human blood, collected in the Foundation's hospitals, leads to an identical reaction, but in 60 seconds on average, from SCP-054-EN. Only one reaction was observed per pocket of blood poured into the water. Addendum 054-B, several seabirds were observed to be engulfed by SCP-054-EN when they were traveling in front of a wave more than 4 meters high. However, SCP-054-EN seems rarely to react to these animals, and its attacks against human individuals are much more frequent. Addendum 054-C, all observations to date have concluded that injured individuals with blood in the water are approximately four times more likely to be victims of SCP-054-EN than subjects healthy. On the other hand, non-injured individuals who have severely restricted their movements in water or have become immobilized have never been subjected to attacks by SCP-054-EN. Addendum 054-D, all attempts to fire the demonstrations of SCP-054-EN proved useless, with the bullets disappearing into the water wall. In addition, attempts to camouflage an individual's odor have also proved unsuccessful, as SCP-054-EN does not appear to be unduly affected by the lure.